Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Olivia Silva. And today I'm actually gonna be doing a little video, something a little bit different than I've been doing in my past videos. Um, today I'm actually gonna be talking about a experience I've had, a terrible, terrible botch job. I'm gonna be telling you guys about the before, the during, and the after, and the after after. So getting it all fixed and done. So let's get started. About, so my son is two. Um, about two years ago, I was super, super insecure about my body. After having a son, your body totally changes. So I told my boyfriend, like, listen, I don't like my body. I really want to get it done. Um, so basically I wanted a mommy makeover. And who do I think of? I think of the famous Dr. Orion, which is, for those of you that don't know, Dr. Orion is Kim Kardashian's doctor. Um, he is in LA, so I ended up convincing my boyfriend, let's fly out there, let's get a consultation, and let's get it started. He wasn't really on board just because he's like, well, what if we have more kids? But I was so like, no, no, no more kids right now. But anyway, so we ended up flying to LA, I had a consultation, so we flew out there. We stayed at a beautiful hotel that was like walking distance to Epion. Epion is Dr. Orion's doctor's office. That's what it's called, Epion. So I ended up, I want to say my appointment, my consultation was at like 11 a.m. So I ended up um, going to my consultation, sitting in the waiting room, filling out paperwork, blah, blah, blah. So then they, we were sitting in the waiting room for 30, 45 minutes. I'm already pissed off. I hate, maybe there's more people out there, but I know there is. I hate having an appointment and they don't take you in till like hours later. So anyway, we already started off on a bad note, right? So 45 minutes later, they take me in, they sit me in the room and they tell me, all right, what are you here for? First of all, you should know what I'm here for. I obviously made an appointment and you guys should be writing it down. So that was weird. So anyway, um, I told him, you know what? Um, I just had a baby. I think I want a breast lift. I think I want a whole tummy tuck, whole whatever. So fast forward, the, there was the lady that they bring in to speak to you at the consultation is not a nurse, is not a doctor, is not experienced. She's actually a salesperson. So what are they trying to do? They're gonna feed you so much crap information that they don't even know if it's correct. And they're gonna basically convince you to get a procedure. So I would keep asking her questions and I did a little bit of research, but not so much. That's why I was there so I could get more information. And she couldn't give me answers. So basically I told her, I'm like, listen, you don't have any answers for me. So is there anyone else I can see? Is there a doctor? And she's like, yeah, let me get the doctor for you. The doctor was actually in surgery. So I literally had to wait like two hours to see him. So I was sitting in there for two hours. My boyfriend was texting me. He's like, what the hell? He was actually in the waiting room. He was like, what the hell? What's taking so long? And I'm like, you know, I told him what happened. So um, he ended up getting charged for some ladies like lip injections or something he ended up texting me he's like what did you get done they charged me like three i want to say three to six grand somewhere around there and i was like so annoyed with you know how long the wait was and i'm like dude like i told you i'm not getting anything done what are you talking about he's like well they just charged me blah 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 and i'm like so now on top of waiting now i'm pissed i'm like i actually opened the door from like my little whatever room I was in my and I'm like who can I talk to they just charged my boyfriend for somebody else's procedure and that is not cool you guys should be asking for ID you guys shouldn't even be charging anyone till the patient is out so I was already livid okay so they're like oh I'm sorry like there was another person this name and his boyfriend's name was also this name okay I'm like what a coincidence right so um, they ended up refunding us, whatever. But my thing is that is so unprofessional. 
Um, you don't just charge somebody without the patient being there. The only reason I know is because I used to work at a doctor's office and we never did that. So like we would fucking get our ass fucking killed if we ever did that. So you just don't do that. It's unprofessional. It looks bad. So fast forward, I ended up not getting anything because my boyfriend convinced me like, listen, this is like really dumb if you get it done now and you end up having more kids. I agreed. Yeah, we ended up having my second daughter, you know, my second child, my daughter, and thank God I didn't get it done. So um, in March, I'm trying to like think back, in March of 2019 of this year, I ended up, um, actually before that, I ended up scrolling on Instagram and I follow Dr. Orion on Instagram and he basically shows a bunch of clips of his work and what he's done. And one of the clips I came across was the gummy smile. So he ended up fixing somebody's gummy smile. And for those of you that don't know, um, I have the worst gummy smile ever. I'm like, I don't, I'm super like insecure about it, but at the same time, I feel like I've had it for so long that I'm like, whatever. So um, I ended up seeing him fix somebody's gummy smile on Instagram, whatever. So I was all about it. So I ended up um, going to LA again. This was in March and I knew I, it's not a consultation. This is what I want. Like he did a great job on her. This is what I want. So I went there, same thing. They took forever. And at this, this time I actually went with my mom, my sister and my kids, but my kids were in the hotel room with my sister. So I went with my mom and I was with my mom. We literally waited an hour before they took us in. So now I'm like, all right, this is, this isn't new. Like this is what happened the first time. So they take me in, then they take me into the room and then they take pictures because I told them this is what I'm getting done. They took pictures of me. Then they put me back in the room for another hour. And now my appointment was same thing, probably like 10 or 11, 10. Um, so my appointment was at 10 and now it's like noon and I'm getting super impatient. My sister ends up calling me. She's like, do you know what? Michael's sick. Michael is my um, two-year-old, my son. And he's like, he's sick. He's throwing up all over the place. So now I'm worried. I'm like, I need to go back to my kids and they haven't started and whatever. So I tell them, I'm like, hey, you know, I've been here for almost three hours. What's going on? She's like, yeah, Dr. Orion will be with you in one minute. Okay. So then a nurse comes, she puts like all this um, numbing cream on my, like around my mouth. And so when they're putting the numbing cream on you, they come in and they're like, all right, so this is how much it's going to be. And I'm like, whoa, like, let me tell you, it was, it was ridiculous. Like it was a lot of money and I was sort of like shocked but at the same time, I'm like, this is, this is what I want. This is what I'm getting. So like, this is the only guy I trust to fix my face. He's Kim Kardashian's doctor. So I ended up saying, all right, like it is what it is, right? So I ended up going ahead and agreeing and then they swiped my card, I paid. Let me not bullshit you guys. It was 10 grand. $10,000 to fix my gummy smile. And let me tell you, I never went to college. So, well, I did go to college, but I never finished. So I still had a savings. Um, if I ever wanted to go back, I basically said, F it. I don't think I'm going to college anytime soon. I have two kids. So I basically put all my money in and for my savings account and said, here you go. Like this is for my face. So I paid it. Dr. Oriad comes in and he's like, oh, okay, so let's get started. He basically told me he's gonna be um, injecting like filler. And um, so he went ahead and in his videos, I don't know if you guys watch like Botox videos or any type of filler videos or like lip filler videos, but when they, do videos of like lip fillers for example they always have like this little tool it's like a, a tea 
and it actually it vibrates so it makes you not feel so much pain it like distracts you from the needle going in i thought they were going to do something like that like what he shows in every video no he just came in didn't even mark did it like mark any area he's going to be injecting just basically said fuck it and started putting in the needle and injecting me with i don't know what so he started going crazy and i actually have when i smile i get a crease on this side and so my makeup always gets like you know all creased up on that side and i've told him like i told him i'm like you know what i wonder if we can like you know with the filler obviously fix that he's like oh yeah the filler's definitely gonna fix that so what he did he ended up putting a lot of filler on this on my left side and i looked like a joke so i'm gonna be showing you guys a little clip of what it looked like my face is having one of those twitches i've been saying and this is how it looks it's going away slowly now it's away yeah that's what happens so every time, and I didn't notice this like during, this was a week later, everything settled in and I started realizing like, I have like lumps, you know, I had like, it sort of felt like an implant inside my like mouth. And I thought it was just because it was still swollen. So I left it at that. And then I started doing more like research and when they do a gummy smile, they never use filler. They use filler only for your lips. So filler is to fill in areas. They started using filler when I don't have to fill in my, you know, top of my lip. So that's why I started getting like these, they look like tumors. I swear they look like big lumps, like tumors. And so many people would look at me because let me tell you my face was like frozen like when i would smile it was like like that like i couldn't move so so excuse me so it was like super weird and people would look at me a little weird and they're like you know and even my boyfriend i came home and he's like what's wrong with your face and i'm like oh you know it's still it's still healing it never got better so basically i just had huge bumps and i ended up scrolling on instagram and i knew at that point i knew i got a botched job like he fucked up my face and took 10 grand and it was it was really messed up because it's not just a couple hundred bucks where it won't hurt me it was 10 grand let me tell you that's a lot of money for anyone for me like that's a lot of money so i ended up scrolling on instagram and i came across um rhonda nurse rhonda and she's done like all this work and one time she posted something about um a gummy smile and i'm like oh my god like she did a great job on this person so I made a consultation with her and I go in and she's like, I told her basically what's going on with my face and what I got done. He actually injected uh, two types of fillers in both sides of my uh, top lip and he ended up injecting Voluma and Radius. So Voluma is dissolvable and Radius is not. So Radius, you have to let your body dissolve it by itself. It can take up to a year, two years, three years. So, um, you know, uh, Rhonda told me, she's like, listen, I can definitely dissolve the Voluma for you. There's like some stuff that they can just basically inject and it'll dissolve everything for you. But the radius, you have to let your body just basically um, dissolve it itself. So at this point I was, I had major trust issues then I'm like, listen, Rhonda, I've seen your work, but let me think about it. And she's like, definitely like go think about it. And she's like, just so you know that this is not about like the money. She's like, I will dissolve it for you at no cost. Like you've been through so much. She was the sweetest person I've ever met, you know? I went home, I thought about it. And then I'm like, do you know what? 
I just been through so much. I'm like, I'm just going to let my body dissolve it by itself and then go back and get it fixed by her. So I went ahead and I waited three, four months, maybe I let everything dissolve. Um, it didn't dissolve fully, uh, but it was the most, you know, I wasn't going to wait another year or so. Like I didn't like my gummy smile. So basically now at this time, once it started dissolving, I can, when I smile, I can start seeing gum again because it started dissolving. So went again uh, and made an appointment with Rhonda and I went in there and I'm like, Hey, don't know if you remember me. And she's like, of course, like I remember you. And she's like, so you made up your mind we're gonna do this i'm like yeah like i can tell still right now after she fixed it i can feel the filler still in there and it hasn't dissolved all the way but i feel like this is the best it's gonna get right now so you know we went ahead and we did it and because he injected so much filler on this side and not on this side, when I smile, I actually have one lip going higher than the other. So he, Dr. Orion, there's no nice way to put it, but he really fucked me up. I'm sorry for the horrible language. I have a horrible mouth if you guys didn't know. But he really messed me up. And like my smile was like this, like still to this day, sometimes when I make weird like faces my smile is like crooked but he really messed up my my mouth my whole face and you know Rhonda said do you know what this is how we fix it we use Botox we never use filler she's like I don't even know why he used filler it doesn't make sense what he's trying to do she's like everyone knows that you use Botox for a gummy smile because what you do is you just freeze your muscle so when you smile it doesn't lift up and i'm like wow that makes so much sense filler is more to fill in areas that's why they use it for your lips to make them and plump them and make them bigger so i don't know what the hell he was basically trying to make bigger here but it literally looked like i had like lumps like my mouth sort of looked like the grinch you know how the grinch has like that cat mouth type of deal that's how it looked it was terrible so Rhonda went ahead and she's like, yeah, I'm going to fix it for you. And she's like, and the price is only $40. She's like, for Botox, th that's that's all I charge, $40 to fix your gummy smile. She's like, but it doesn't last that long. It lasts, you know, three months. And she's like, honestly, I'll say two and a half months. She was so honest. She wasn't trying to be like, do you know what? It's going to last you three to six months she gave me she's like it's gonna last you two and a half two and a half months to three months but it's only forty dollars so i'm like wow i literally left there without any pain there was no like recovery time nothing like it was actually a thursday i went looked completely normal right after i you know obviously you just have spots that are bleeding she cleaned it up she's like boom you're done and it doesn't take effect till she said th three or four days later, but normal. I actually, that night I had a soccer game, went to go play soccer. She's like, you're good to go play. Boom, easy, done. Like I was thinking back of my experience with Dr. Orion and I'm like, wow. Like when I left his office, I was swollen. Like my, my face was swollen. Like it was embarrassing, you know? And he, they never told me that they just basically inject you all right boom you're done next you know and that's i felt like i was just a paycheck to him i didn't feel like i was a, a client and maybe because i'm not kim kardashian who gives a fuck right but my thing is at the end of the day i'm a patient like you should treat kim kardashian olivia silva the next person like the same because they're here to get work done to you know their fix their insecurities and you're over here fucking them up even more and it still to this day it really pisses me off because i feel like because you don't have the fame and you don't have the money they're not going to treat you the same because who cares who's going to find out right but you know it sucks i feel like so many people put their trust on dr orion when he should not be trusted and like like later on when i ended up doing my research 
I ended up finding out that he actually got sued for negligence. So, I mean, it makes sense, you know, he's promoting one thing and doing a complete different, you know, job. So, um, I wish I did more research on him before, but people brag about him so much. And now that I think back, maybe it's not true. I don't know, but I feel like he pays them to, you know, give him a good name, sort of like an ad. I feel like that's what he does. He pays all these celebrities so his name can be out there. And maybe it's not true, that's just what I think because he couldn't do a simple job like fixing my gummy smile when Rhonda literally did it in like three seconds. And it took him five hours to see me and fix it. And it's like, wow, like that is really messed up. But anyway, let's go ahead and watch the my video of Rhonda going ahead and fixing everything for me and making me beautiful again. So let's go ahead and watch that. So this is the um, final result of just basically letting my filler and whatever Dr. Orion did just dissolve by itself. Um, I had a choice of actually getting it dissolved. But just with everything that went on, I was already like iffy and like scared and I didn't want to wait for like downtime on swelling. So I just let it naturally go down. Um, I still do feel like a little filler in here because I do feel like a, like a lump. Um, it feels like a solid in there as if I have like an implant and that's how it feels. It's really weird, but it's not as bad. You can't really see it when I smile as much. Um, but my gummy smile, so I'll smile right now. Um, I just ate, so hopefully there's like no food in there. Anyway, like this is, and this is not bad at all. I usually actually have it worse, but I hate when I smile. I actually have this side of my smile is, um, it like lifts up more than this side. So you can see more gum on my left side. So you see that? So that's my smile and I don't like it. And I actually have a worse gummy smile than that, but because some of it already dissolved, that's why my gummy smile is back. Um, but it's not as bad because I still have, you know, some of that leftover in there, whatever the hell he mixed and fucking put in my face. So I'm actually a little nervous to get this fixed just because of everything that went down. So. I don't know, I'm like excited and nervous. I have like mixed feelings, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so right now I am actually getting numbed so they could go ahead and inject the whole bottom of my lip. Um, this is just like numbing cream and like my tongue even feels numb. And it's funny because when I went to the other doctor, whatever they numbed me with did not work at all. So I'm supposed to sit here for 30 minutes just to let this numb me out. I could feel it right, like right away when she put it on, I felt it working. So it's good that I won't feel anything, but I am a little nervous. So let's see what happens. So they're just gonna inject all on top. So I'm pretty excited, nervous to see the results. It is 1.38 and I've been waiting for 30 minutes already. Um, it is actually pretty numb, but I noticed the outside of my lips are actually not as numb anymore. So maybe, I don't think we should wait 30 minutes, but whenever they said 30 minutes. I can feel this, but I can't feel this. <laughs> You're good. Right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, babe, so I'm just gonna mark you here. So what the Botox is going to do, it's going to help relax the muscles where it's going to actually flip your lip up and give you a fuller lip mm -hmm. without actually adding filler and help with your gummy smile. Okay. So smile and how she has all of this gummy showing, relax, now smile, it's actually going to keep it down so you don't see as much gum. Lasts for about three months, usually about two and a half for this. So mm -hmm. she has more of a show on this side, so she's going to get a little bit more uh, Botox on this side than the other. So four units here, and then two and one. 
Super easy. One, two, three, four, five. So this will start uh, working on day three and peaks out around day 14 and then you decide at that point if you need more if you want to you know add filler into it okay. so um, it's gonna flip up like this nice and full how about swelling oh you won't have any swelling. you won't have anything you won't even know you had anything done in about 10 minutes good no downtime no nothing good super easy peasy as soon as it stops oozing, but easy peasy. So just to make sure, take this bit. So it's gonna do that to your lip. Okay, okay. yeah, perfect. It is perfect. So she already has full lips, so she doesn't really need a lot of filler. Mm -hmm. But you decide how if we want it. Yeah, how it works. But I think that you're gonna be fine. I think no filler. Look yeah, how no, nice I think and that's juicy good. this is. Yeah. And you just need a little bit of a a lift right there. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. I think that's going to be good. All right, so day 14, decide what you want to do and then let me know. Cool. All right. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. So I just got done with the Botox. Um, we ended up going with Botox, how she said, and there is no downtime, down which is a good thing, especially with two babies at home. So I do have like little pokes. Um, hopefully no bruising from them. My skin is very sensitive, and especially because I do have eczema on my face. So that's why I always get like really like red, irritated around my um, nose and cheek. I have really bad eczema. So we will see. This is just literally right now. I just got it done. So I guess we'll see. So the nurse that did the Botox, her name is Rhonda and she was amazing. Like she's honestly very nice, very honest. And that's my biggest thing, honesty. Honesty goes a long way for me, especially after what I've been through. Um, and the Botox cost $40, 40, $40. When she could have told me I needed filler and ripped me off for like, X amount of cash, you know, and I'm just really happy that you know she's very honest, and how I said that does go a long way um, for me. So I am really excited to see my results, and then obviously I'll be going back to her, and you know, just it's nice to know that I can I can trust somebody. Okay, so today is a Tuesday, September 10th, and I actually waited four days after um, my Botox on my gummy smile. Uh, Rhonda did say after three days, the Botox takes like full effect. So um, basically whatever, you know, the results are after three days, that's like what it's gonna be. But I waited like the fourth day to like, you know, show you guys. So this is, here, let me, um, this is after like once I smile, if you can tell, it's a lot more like even and you don't see as much gum, you know? So that's my smile. And my lips, sorry, I have like, I have like terrible acne right now, so don't judge. So this is, I just have chapstick on right now, but you know, um, this is my smile. I don't see as much um, as uh, of my gum as I did obviously before, but I'm actually really, really happy. I was um, actually super, 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 super nervous about my results just after everything that happened, after everything I've been through. But I am honestly, genuinely like so happy and in love with my results. And I actually really appreciate Rhonda for being so honest 
and you know, $40, $40 for this perfect smile. And you know, it's it just sucks what I had to go through to, you know, just learn. And um, you know, now I'm actually happy. So now I know who to go to. So if you guys are ever um, interested in fillers, Botox, like all of that stuff, I would definitely recommend her. That's my son. Anyway, um, I'm happy with my results and I definitely recommend you guys to go to um, Nurse Rhonda. She is the best, hands down. So yeah, that is it. I will tell you, um, just for people that are wondering, I've never gotten Botox obviously in my life. This is my first time because the first time I got my gummy small, you know, obviously they did it wrong, but um, Botox does feel a little funny. Um, I feel like my upper, like right here, like the upper, like on top of my lip is like numb. Sort of like when you get like a teeth pulled, you know how they like numb you? That's how it feels. Uh, maybe I'll get used to it, but you know, it is just day four. But it's funny cause you know, like when you sort of get like that numbing stuff at the dentist, and you can't like move the side of your face. Obviously I can still, you know, move my face. I can still, I can suck out of a straw. Actually they say that, you know, you might not be able to the first couple days, but I was actually able to suck out of a straw. I was able to, you know, mm -hmm, do whatever to my face and it, it's fine. Um, the only thing it just, it does feel funny. Maybe I have to get used to it, but it does feel numb up here but I can still move. So yeah, besides um, that, there's honestly like nothing I can think of that is weird or I don't like, but yeah, that's it. The only reason I really did this video <clears throat> is for anyone out there that hasn't heard of getting their gummy smile fixed, there is a solution for that. And then for anyone out there that has been thinking of seeing Dr. Orion and spending thousands of dollars for his terrible work, do not, let me repeat, do not go to him because I guarantee you there is so many doctors local to you that are actually great. And he is just a scam complete scam hands down and if you guys need any work done if you guys have any questions i will refer you guys to rhonda and i promise you she will definitely give you answers to anything and if she cannot she will find out for you but hands down i recommend you guys to go to rhonda at Espala, and that is actually in Oak Brook, Illinois. So I will definitely also leave her um, Instagram, and then I will leave like directions to Espala for you guys um, that don't know where that is. And they do all different types of surgeries. They do breast augmentation, like they do everything, not only fillers and Botox, they do it all. So I definitely recommend you guys to go check them out. And I hope you guys really like this video. It is my experience and my terrible botch job from the famous Dr. Orion that is complete BS. And um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will definitely post our Instagram in the bottom. And I will also have a slide for you. So definitely go check us out um, and go ahead and follow us. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I will definitely try to get to you guys and answer as much as I can. I'm not an expert. This is just my experience. So I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for taking your time and watching this video. Bye.